The feed status indicator seems to show around five different messages. At the start of a print, you will see feed status checking. So what the feed status does, I believe, is it first checks if this wire is connected to the back of the printer. And these are connected to the rods that they are supposed to be connected to. And if they are passing an electrical signal, I believe, between these two by passing that electrical signal through resin. So if it detects resin, it's going to do its thing and it's going to feed the resin. For demonstrational purposes, I'm going to disconnect this wire that is currently connected to the back of the printer. The wire that I have in my hand is just a secondary example. There is one actually connected to the printer. So I'm going to disconnect it now. As you can see, it now displays feed status, no resin in the bottle. So now let's reconnect that wire. So this could display for two different things. If you disconnect that wire or if you actually run out of resin. Once you got the wire connected back in or you got resin, Reconnected, you have to re enable auto feed at the bottom of this menu. So you see, auto feed was disabled, now we have to re enable it. Once it's re enabled, by default, you will actually see that the auto feed speed is set to 20. Now, that 20% speed is going to be really hard to tell what's going on if the pump is working mm -hmm. or not. So, our advice is setting it to auto speed 100% mm -hmm. to check the functionality of things. So, once it's set 100%, you can actually hear the pump working. Now, here, I actually have my feeding unit extended, so I've got the wire much longer than it usually is. So if we go back, we can see this message, feed status, feed in five minutes. So as soon as this message is placed, that means it's going to pump the resin through this clear tube, pushing air into the bottle, pumping resin through this black tube into the vat. The problem is, however, we can't see any resin coming out, can we? Now, there is a reason for that. Now, there might be a few reasons. It's usually because the cap is not compressing the bottle, so the air is escaping somewhere. So we can check this by, first of all, holding this. And we can hear that it's clearly blowing air, and we can actually disconnect it. And if we push that, we can feel air coming out. A quick way to see if you're having a good compression or not, is just look at the bottle. And that clearly doesn't look like it's tight sealed, is it? And that is because I removed this little washer. So when I was undoing this resin bottle, I actually removed it thinking I didn't need it, but clearly, that washer was doing its job and it needed to be there so if we push it back in and we look we instantly have resin pouring out So yeah, that's all it basically needs. Just make sure that the airways are clear and you've got air flowing through that first. That this is nice and flat. If it's not, it's probably because you removed the washer by accident mm -hmm. or you just didn't think about it or you didn't know. I didn't know that I had to keep it there. Mm -hmm. And once it's flowing well, you can go back to the menu down 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 and then you can change the auto feed speed back to default 20 and then press enter and now you can't hear the auto feed at all and go back and you see as you change the speed this does update to feed in two minutes now <coughs>
Well, I still don't see it pumping. Mm -hmm. Unless they're reversed. Mm -hmm. That's pushing. This has got a hole, so it goes through that. Well, I feel it bubbling, but nothing's coming out this one. Okay, so this hole is fine because I can hear that. So that is bubbling like crazy. So something on the inside maybe? This is loose. This is very loose. Maybe this needs to be really tight. And now it's retracting. Yep, it's sucking. So I'm going to try to hold this. A little bit. And tighten it. So I think maybe air is coming out of these. Maybe it's letting air out. This one on the other hand, I do not want to squeeze too much. Mm 